just like to start off by saying that this is not an endorsement for the GOP, okay? This is actually an anti-endorsement for both major parties. And that doesn't make me an American, because I'm pretty sure that my American flag pin is at least twice as big as any of yours. Yesterday, the President held a Google Plus Hangout as a follow-up to a State of the Union address for the people of the Internet. YouTubers were invited to go to the White House YouTube channel, submit questions, and vote on their favorite ones. The Google Plus Hangout was hosted by Steve Grove, head of news and politics at YouTube, head of community partnerships at Google Plus, and the guy who helps Obama with pretty much all his Internet stuff. The White House said that this venture would promote transparency on a range of issues important to young Americans. The public had two days to vote, and the top voted questions were to be answered by the president. The problem with the top voted question platform, however, was that all the questions were about weed. That's right, the top questions were almost all about marijuana policy. The top video question, coming from a former deputy chief of the LAPD, who read a Gallup poll that said that more than half of all Americans favor legalization of marijuana. And he wanted to know what Obama would say to the people who demand a change in drug policy. We didn't see that question. In what I assume was an emergency cover-up, once they realized that all the questions were about pot, the five chosen Google Hangout participants got pretty much all the attention. These five lucky Americans were chosen because they had questions that were somewhat highly rated video questions. You know, the five Americans who best embody typical internet geekdom. We're Texas and I have two beautiful girls. Nice to meet you. You can't be daughters. He is correct. It is actually now against the law to be your daughters. Thank you for giving up a little bit of your time to let us all be a part of this. And thanks for wearing a tie today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a mother of three children, and I'm a children's book writer in Evanston, Illinois. I'm also really into World of Warcraft. Tell everybody in Evanston I said hi. Yeah, those guys. So while this event was touted as a transparent, submit your vote, have your questions answered, power to the people sort of thing, the transparency was really cloaked by the fact that none of our questions got answered. Also not mentioned was the National Defense Authorization Act posts, which were all deleted. So here's what I think. If Obama wants to pretend like he respects YouTubers, and you too, Steve Grove, I like you, but you messed up. You messed up. He's got to answer our questions. So let's make him do it again. I'm really serious about this. The White House has a new iPhone app. They're on Facebook. They're on Twitter. They're on YouTube. We should just keep asking them to do this again but to answer our questions this time. I'm bored, okay? Don't talk about jobs anymore. Don't talk about the economy anymore. I want to know about other issues now.